Welcome to EOS Laser Mapping with Collector for ArcGIS. This video series will walk you through the steps required to perform your laser mapping workflow. In this video, we will show you how to configure some initial settings in Collector and EOS Tools Pro. Before proceeding, make sure your iOS device is paired with both the EOS Aero GNSS receiver and the LTI TP200X. Please note, during the pairing process, the TP200X will prompt you with a password. By default, the password is 1234. When acquiring a GNSS location, you can make sure of the quality of the position by setting threshold values in EOS Tools Pro. There will be audible alarms for GNSS conditions and certain parameters, such as estimated accuracy, differential status, and age of differential correction, that will be displayed in red color when their threshold values are exceeded. As you can see, we have purposefully placed the antenna in a location with poor visibility to trigger the alarm. In order to set the GNSS alarms, open EOS Tools Pro and tap on the Alarm button at the bottom of the main menu. In the Alarm menu, set the alarms required for your accuracy. If you want centimeter accuracy and are connected to an RTK network, select RTK. You also can select submeter depending on your accuracy needs. Now, back under the Position tab, you can see all the field data that is outside the alarm thresholds. If precise elevation is required for your workflow, we strongly suggest taking a moment to configure real-time orthometric heights to match your vertical data. In this section, we will show you how to configure EOS Tools Pro so that it outputs orthometric height measurements in the z-value of the point geometry in Collector. This is possible thanks to built-in geoid models within EOS Tools Pro. To do this, tap the Config tab at the bottom of the main menu. Select Altitude in the upper menu bar. Now, from the Altitude Reference dropdown, select Orthometric. You will be presented with a list of supported, downloadable geoid models. Scroll down to your country and select the geoid model you wish to download. For fieldwork in the USA, you will want to select Geoid 18 slash NAVD 88. The geoid model will download to your device. Once downloaded, select the model by simply tapping on it. A selection check mark will appear to the right. Then tap Done. Back in your EOS Tools Pro Position tab, you will now see your orthometric height. Congratulations, you've now configured EOS Tools Pro. Now, with EOS Tools Pro running in the background, open Collector. Navigate to the Settings menu and then select Location Provider. Here, you will want to add your Aero GNSS receiver. Click Add and select your Bluetooth paired Aero receiver. Then tap Done. Now, select it as your location provider. Once you have selected your location provider, click on the Offset menu. Now, select EOS Tools Pro. Please note that in Collector's location profile, you will also need to configure the required datum transformation. This will not be covered in this tutorial. Please refer to your GIS professional if you are not familiar with these collector settings. Now, select a point feature to be recorded. Please note that you will be able to record lines and polygons using the laser, and the geometry will be sent to collector, including X, Y, and Z values, but not the other attributes. This tutorial only focuses on taking points. Next, select the ellipses icon that appears on the top right of the New Feature tab and select Offset from Location. By doing so, the EOS Tools Pro Laser Offset page will open. Now, inside the EOS Tools Pro Laser Offset page, tap on the Settings tab. Input the height of your antenna and the height of the laser device. This is measured in meters. Setting the GNSS antenna height and the laser device height is critical for precise measurements. Please make sure you enter the correct information. Congratulations! You are now ready to collect with orthometric height and or take laser offset measurements directly inside your web maps and collector. 
you will find a complete manual on how to set up EOS laser mapping with your kit. If you have any additional questions, please contact technical support on the EOS website.